I'm here on step 31 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design certificates fourth course, Learn HTML Forms by Building a Registration Form. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to label our, um, our different options to select because right here it's very unclear what, what are you actually, what are you choosing? So we'll add an, a label and we're supposed to nest the entire select element inside. So we're gonna put this after the end here. And because we did that, we're gonna indent everything right there. And all I did, I just selected everything and I just pressed tab. You can do the opposite um, and you can unindent by doing shift tab, it goes the other way. Um, but that's this is how I want it. And then we actually have to add some text. So how did you hear about us? There we go. And you can see the label on the right. Okay, so next we actually are going to add some options. So just gonna, in between each of these, just copy and paste. And now there's actual options um, that are not just blank um, anymore. And then there's kind of no point in having different options if we don't know what those options are at the end. So we have to assign everything a value. And because this first one, we don't want anyone to really select this. We're not actually gonna give it a value. Well, we're adding a value, but we're not putting um, anything inside of these two quotation marks. And then everything else is um, one through four. And so this way, when we submit the form, when someone selects the fourth option, for example, other, um, we, we find out that for this um, select, somebody just chose option number four. Um, and next, we are going to add um, somewhere where people can actually add a bio. And so instead of just having like a little one line, if you're writing kind of like paragraph style, it's really hard to to do that in one of these text boxes that are just, um, they're just a regular input and the type is text, we can actually use a special element called a text area. So if I just create run real quick, real quick, here we have a text box where you can do different lines. If it's small, if it's too small, you can make it bigger. So that is what we are making right now. And so this, um, needs its own label. So people know what text they're using. And I'm gonna do that same, just indent that right there. And next, um, and now we actually have to kind of give the descriptor, which is provide a bio. And we can actually specify how big we want our text area to be. And so we can specify rows, which would be, we want three rows and we want 30 columns. And so it gets a little bit wider. And then next we wanna give people kind of like a suggestion of this is the, the type of thing that we want you to write. And so we are going to um, give a placeholder it just says, I like coding on the beach, dot, dot, dot. It's kind of like a, if you don't know what you're doing, start here kind of thing. And then now we're actually going to give a name because it's a best practice to give a name to everything you're submitting. And so we're just going to kind of describe everything. So that'll be first name. last name you can actually do whatever you want but you want to do something that's going to make your life easier later so just kind of it's best to just kind of describe exactly what it is um and sometimes it can get a little bit confusing if you if we're not going to do a name there's already a name for the radio button so um but everything else is going to get one 
um, if you do abbreviations, sometimes you can get confused later down the line because you know you don't know how long you're going to be using something and if you're going to remember what that abbreviation is. So we can just kind of short, keep it short and sweet. Um, that's best. I think one final last one. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. There we go. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of extra style to our site. We're gonna change the font from the default font to one called Tahoma. And you just saw the font change and then we wanna make everything a little bit bigger. Actually looks about the same, but now we specified what size we want. And then we want to target all H1 and also paragraph. So this is the same as having one thing like this, and we have another paragraph over here and they have the same thing inside, but instead of writing it out twice, if we're just, if they're going to have the exact same um, um, thing inside of those brackets, we can actually just do a comma. Um, and now it affects both of them, but it's not like, oh, if you're a header one and a paragraph, it's just if you're a header one or if you're a paragraph, this affects you. So we're going to change the, the margin to uh, be able to center um, we're, we're centering the left and right sides of the, um, the actual form. I don't think, I think we have to do a little bit more CSS as actually see the effects and it's a little bit too small on the right, but if you're in full screen, um, then you'd probably see the effects and then, we're actually aligning the text center, there we go. And then we also wanna center the form. Um, and so, and we don't want it to be too wide. So we will add some min and max width. So we don't want it to ever be more than 500 pixels and then anything less than 300 pixels is too small so we're not going to do that and we're going to specify we want it to be 60 vertical width there we go and now this looks definitely a lot better um, if we change this you can see okay it gets a little bit bigger but we'd never want it to be bigger than that and then we can squish it squish it squish it squish it squish it but then eventually Right about there, you actually have to scroll sideways because it's not going to get any smaller. Um, just because it would just be too unwieldy to actually see what's going on. 